seen the two actually sit there, at, you know, the two communities sit there and engage with each other. It's always been like, you know, if you're an NFT guy, you're an NFT guy, you don't look at crypto and vice versa. So Pepe was cool. Uh, but now you have all these new meme tokens that are popping out. Uh, you have what, Bonk? Bonk went crazy. You know, a lot of people didn't look at Bonk and, that, and it just shot up. So, uh, and I missed on that one. I should have been looking at Bonk, but I didn't. And then, you know, it goes to what, I think it went to what, 1.5 billion, 1.6 billion. Um, but there there have been a lot of meme tokens on the Solana network now. I see a lot of people just moving over to Solana to to participate in, um, in uh, I want to say, I, I wanna, I'm, I'm trying my best not to cuss, but they're participating in the meme token ecosystem that Solana has there. Obviously less fees. It reminds me of when Binance Chain first came out and people switched from Ethereum to Binance Chain because there was no fees and it was easy to just like, you know, pop up a meme token and get into one. Uh, but there's, again, there's a lot. Uh, meme tokens, I love participating just because of the community aspect. Layer 1s and Layer 2s, I'm getting into them. I own over 44 assets, so I'm not just in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm in plenty of others. The only reason that I just don't shoot them out is just, at the end of the day, everybody, you know, if I say not financial advice, people will f follow whatever the fuck I do. Exactly. And, and, and then they'll blame me when, you know, I have, I have, you know, I have a high, <laughs> I don't care about losing money. Like, I, I, I'm willing to go ahead and lose money that I can afford to lose. I know my threshold. I know my pain threshold. Uh, you need to know your pain threshold. You can't be following anybody off of a cliff. You know, most of these things don't work out. You know, maybe three out of ten will go ahead and give you some sort of profit. But um, I, I'll say that for the most part, 80 to 85% of my portfolio is in... I believe in real assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, XLM, Polkadot, Kusama, uh, Aave. You know, if you're talking about DeFi, you're going to have to talk about Aave. Aave is a necessary uh, asset to have in DeFi. You have Chainlink, the only, to me, the only Oracle uh, protocol out there that I believe in that has a great team behind it. I'm in that. Um, I can go on up for hours, but I'll just name those since, uh, you know, they're put out there anyway by other people than just me. Yeah, absolutely. And most of those we already have hosted here on CMC Live. So if you guys are looking to know more about those projects, make sure to go to coinmarketcap.com slash community slash lives. You'll find lives probably with not, if not all, most of the ones mentioned by David here because we have been hosting a ton of blue chip, as we call projects here, uh, the top ones in the market, top 10, top 20, top 50. I think we cover, if not all, almost all of them and that's also good for you guys to just like deep dive a little bit into what are the potential use cases and all that about those projects that David mentioned. David, not just that, but I think that um, one important thing to know about crypto, as you mentioned, if you have more liquidity, liquidity sitting on the sidelines, you'll be diving deep into more stuff and I think that's the same for everyone like we just have enough money like we cannot invest in everything that we want and there are so many crypto assets out there for example on CMC today just like when it comes to ranking ranked assets we have almost 9,000 and this doesn't even count the ones that we don't necessarily track on a CDP which is a coin detail page but we track it in a decentralized way because they are just listed on decentralized exchanges in that case it goes over 2 million assets, which is absolutely insane to say. So it's impo impossible to invest and to know everything. So that's why I feel like people should be taking as much as advantage as possible of places such as CMC Community, where we have those lives with top tier people in the market, people that are building stuff, key influencers, etc., that can come here 
and give you guys some light on what's going on, their perspectives, etc. Without necessarily be shielding any tokens and that kind of stuff, because we uh, definitely believe that you should do your own research when investing in absolutely anything. And David, I think that um, uh, kind of a last question for you, as we are just like now more or less 45, 50 minutes into this conversation already, I'd like to ask you something that is like, you have mentioned a lot about things that you have built in the past and things that you are building in the moment and things that you look for in the future. I'd like to ask you two questions in one. First of all, um, for Goxchain Media specifically, what would you consider like um, it to be successful looking like three to five years from now? Like looking back, what you'd say, like, I mean, we made it, we have been 